The new base game update just released today, October 22nd, for The Sims 4. And this one is our pre-pack patch before The Sims 4 Life and Death expansion pack, which comes out on Halloween. So we're going to go over really quickly all of the new things coming to The Sims 4 and the bug fixes that they've included. So for the base game updates, Sims will now react uniquely to others' deaths based on their traits and relationships. Everything from sobbing for a loved one passing to retching at a stranger's death. Ghosts can now be created and create a sim for children through elder ages. After passing on, ghosts gain a new set of skills in place of the classic ones. And the new skills include goo waste, ethereal, substance, otherworldly slumber, spooky diversions, ethereal bonding, and apparition cleansing. At the moment of death, Sims are now able to choose between becoming a playable ghost or being a free roaming ghost. Upon death of a marriage partner, two married Sims will no longer be married. They will be widowed. However, there's a new interaction that will allow them to ask to stay married to reinstate their marriage status. Sims can move home with the Grim Reaper again. Improved autonomous ghost behavior, such as ref reducing the frequency of ghosts breaking things and creating annoying ghost byproducts i.e puddles that's a huge one that's why i never played with ghosts because i feel like over in the night when my sims would sleep the ghosts would break sinks and toilets and showers and and fridges and like my living sims would just wake up to like basically a broken house that they couldn't do anything with so i'm glad that they reduced the frequency of that and then they added a new outdoor picture category in build mode called Life Event Activity to help players find content for funerals, weddings, and more. Infant, toddler, and children's sims that are taken away by social workers will now show up in the Manage Worlds menu instead of just being deleted. A new bonfire object called the Firestone Bonfire Pit is now in the base game. There's an option to, on urns and gravestones to manually swap to the other one when you're indoors or outdoors. Before, it would always auto-change when being brought in or taken out. There are now 10 new true black color variants on different base game shoes. And these are the ones in the picture here, I guess, so you have proper funeral attire if you're getting the new expansion pack. For cross-pack compatibility, if you own Get to Work, Vampires, Werewolves, Realm of of magic island living or the new upcoming life and death expansion pack you'll be able to click on a sims urn or gravestone to choose from a selection of gravestones to use so that's interesting and we had already been teased before that there's a new merfolk urn and tombstone pictured here but there looks like there's some other options that's probably the alien one this is probably spellcaster vampire so you have some options. That's really cool. Looks like there's maybe 16 in total. Players can now swap occults while in create a sim if they have the necessary occults pack that doesn't remove progress on a sim that's currently being created within reason. So you'll be able to now choose to make it this way. And that's nice because before you had to choose upfront what occult you wanted to make and you couldn't make any changes. So a pre-existing sim couldn't be made into an occult later. If that makes sense. Elders can create, el players, I'm sorry, can create elder dog, cat, and horse ghosts in Kratosim with the cats and dogs or horse ranch expansion pack. That's interesting. And then for those who are using DirectX 11, they've addressed an issue with players who have hybrid GPU laptops where the game was defaulting to DirectX 9 on devices with NVIDIA and AM AMD graphic cards instead of the DirectX 11. Now there's a ton of bug fixes. Not going to go through all of these. These are super long, and I think they teased some of these before, but some of the big ones, as Sims will not autonomously eat spoiled food, which is great, uh, especially if you have them pull, like, leftovers from the fridge. They would eat leftovers that were already spoiled. Skill books are now going to be available at all libraries. Curved fences will now cast shadows. The Nano Can 2.0 can now be used off-grid which is interesting. I don't know if anyone still plays with the off-grid lot type, but that's very challenging. If you do off-grid and simple living, which is the lot type that came with cottage living, oh my goodness, it's just a super challenge. Non-binary sims are now referred to as the birthday sim during birthday party events. 
Merfolks have their own tombs and urns. Vertical gardens now count towards the freelance botanist aspiration. They fixed the clipping issue when children A. Sims practiced riding a bike near a building. Infants no longer teleport outside of the crib when resuming a game right as the baby transitions to sleep. Lights will no longer revert to auto mode in haunted houses. I mean, they did some huge fixes. The last three or four patches have been really big, and they're fixing things that people actually care about. Um, I wish we had some more fixes for For Rent. That one still has a ton of problems, but they do seem to be slowly but surely working on that. So let me know in the comments below what you think about all of these new fixes. Have you had a chance to update your game and play since the update? I'll probably do a separate video going over more of the details that they didn't explain in the patch that came with the base game update. But let me know what you think.